Hello folks, uh, this is Derek Tsai from uh, LearnByBlogging.com. Today I want to talk, uh, do a book review on this book called uh, Parenting Without Power Struggles. Raising Joyful and Resilient Kids While Staying Cool, Calm, and Connected by Susan Stifelman. Uh, be the captain of your relationship with your children. They are ex these days are uh, excellent questions and suggest suggestion at the end of each chapter that answer uh, many of my questions and um, there are the six stages of attachments are very interesting and which are the feel for our connection uh, to our kids I also uh, come to appreciate the importance of the village uh, attachment in raising a child uh, there are many other wonderful ideas in the approaching the problem of anxiety, depression, angers, etc. Uh, very nicely done and a must read uh, for parents. Um, here's a summary. Uh, chapter 1, how to be the captain of the ship to calm and stormy seas. Uh, who is in charge? Uh, you can ask yourself the four questions about our belief, a thought that precipitate your upset. Uh, is it true? Number one and number two, can you absolutely know that it's true? And how do you feel or react when you think that thought? And number four is, how, what would you be without that thought? Uh, these are the four questions you ask yourself whenever you are um, upset about your kids. And our children want and need, need to be feel, they need to have to feel dependent on us like a blackout or in a disaster situation. Uh, the wonderful advices are number number one, um, to focus on loosening your need for your child to behave properly, uh, so that you feel like you are a good parent. So, basically, it's, it's about yourself. And B is to explore the meaning that you are assigning to your kid's problematic behavior. Once again, it's about yourself, how you feel about it. And C is let go of the drama and the threats. Uh, that simply uh, emphasize how out of control you have become. And C is come alongside of your child rather than at them um, so that he or she will feel that you are his allies and advocates. And E is to create a plan and stick to it with a quiet authority, uh, even at the cost of having your child uh, dislike you. And F is to love your child in the way that he most needs it, by being the calm, confident uh, captain at the sea as your child navigates the sometimes rough waters of growing up. Uh, chapter 2 uh, is attachment and connection. All relationships, including those without the kids, with the, between the kids and the parents, involve the six stages of attachment by Gordon Neefield. Number 1 is proximity through touch, contact, and closeness. Number two, sameness, uh, mimicking the uh, mannerism. And number three is belonging and royal, royalty, uh, saying like, my mommy does this, my mommy does that. Um, and number four is significance, feeling being treasured, being loved. And of course, number five is love. And number six, being known uh, to be able to uh, confide in with parents confined uh, in parents. So be cautious of what your kids atta uh, peer attachment with his or her friends as they are mostly uh, not reliable and, uh, and very mostly conditional um, unlike, unlike the parents uh, relationship with the parents. Number three is how to help your kids uh, number, chapter three is about helping your kids be uh, have healthy relationship with the members of their village. Village being your family and surrounding uh, so strengthen the attachment with teachers, the other adults of the family, uh, neighborhood, community, and friends. Uh, do the same by putting the energy in the life of other children that create a bond that benefits us, uh, benefits all, benefits all. And that chapter four, it talk about she talk about the creating unshakable connection with your kids. Uh, kids want to be able to tell us the truth, and uh, children's neck up and neck down communication style. Be the translator um, to help them express their, how they are really feeling. That's neck down. And finding ways to, to build the connections. 
On chapter 5, uh, she talked about helping kids deal with frustrations. Frustrations fuels aggression, our ability to live joyful and successful lives um, depends on the ability to adapt. Uh, understand the five stages of grief, uh, which is DAPTA. Uh, the five stages of grief is the uh, denial, the anger, the bargaining, the depression, and acceptance, the final stage. And move your child toward adapting by helping her find her tears. Okay. Uh, number chapter six, uh, handling resistance, angers, whining, meltdowns, and aggression. Uh, use Act One, which is ask a question for the children to offload his or her upset, and keep the children talking. And Act Two is to ask for permission to offer advices. Uh, don't offer the advice right right away, but go through this first act and the second act. Uh, get the three. Yeses from the child by asking all the correct feelings, uh, if the correct feelings are spoken. Like, uh, if finding the answer, you ask the question, if whining, the answer, whining is the answer, what is the question? So explore the reason why the child whines and, uh, or, or uh, interrupts. Uh, chapter 7, uh, she talked about how to get kids to cooperate. The need for close and secure attachment is one of the strongest drive that human have. Uh, kids are inclined to do what you ask and um, or when they feel close to you. And when you request from a sense of connectedness, there are times when a child refusal to cooperate is an indication of unspoken tension in the household or his resistance in his attempt, uh, attempt to uh, exert even a little bit more, a little bit power within the context of feeling uh, powerlessness. So give direction from connection, being interested in what you are doing, what they are doing. Uh, do the eye contact things, eye on me, and uh, before asking to uh, for the child to comply. And requesting into the yes answer. So get the child to nod and, and say yes, uh, and catch them being helpful. Ask what would she have to be feeling to behave this way. So think from their perspective. And a lot of, lot of time you have to use a fat, uh, big fat period. So that's the end of the story. No need to argue. Uh, that will be the big fat period. The chapter eight, we talk about celebrate the child you got. Accept and see your kids for the remarkable human beings they are. Okay. Number chapter nine is talk about um, every child is a genius. A genius is defined as um, to give birth or to give genesis or give zestful or joyful joyousness. Uh, so ADD, uh, attention deficit disorder, can be explained by this hunter versus farmer traits. And um, so having AD, ADD is like having a hunter in a farmer's world. So if you think that the um, your kids have an ADD, that is a good uh, perspective, perspective that you might want to have. Um, chapter 10. Uh, how to help kids avoid depression, anxiety, and be genuinely happy when the parent-child relationship is fragile. The prospect of turning to mom and dad can sometimes be impossible uh, to a troubled youngster. So deal with anxiety. Um, imagine the little fear guys on the shoulder and, and is dedicated to their safety. So distinguish between shapelessness fear, shapeless fear, often attributed to model uh, the fear from a parent and the specific fear. Uh, this is the, the actual fear. So practice the ABC thinking. You know, the A being the actual event, uh, B being the belief that we construct about the event, and then C the consequence of our having that belief. So ask that question. Uh, is this what's actually happening? What is our belief in that systems and what is the consequence of that belief would um, come about? Uh, as a result of that belief. So when a thought uh, shows up that has the power to make us sad or angry uh, or anxious, uh, we don't have to believe it. Uh, we can overcome those. Chapter 11 uh, is about being present and mindful and unwinding about uh, electricity. So sometimes you just need to turn off the electricity and turn off the gadgets uh, and be present. 
Uh, this is uh, like the gift that continues to unwrap itself. So play the suggested games in the book uh, with your kids and uh, basically play with your kids. Number 12, page, page, uh, chapter 12, empowering your kids to create their best lives. There are five qualities that help your youngster to move toward childhood with the resources needed to find their passion. So manage the obstacle that may get in their ways and persevere to make their dreams come true. And those are three a few things being uh, uh, make sure they have self-respect and the have ability to do problem solving, has a big visioning and show gratitude. Um, chapter 13, the last chapter is like a uh, live like your kids are watching. So be careful because they are watching. The cameras are always rolling. When we make mistake, uh, the things we do is to apologize sincerely, uh, not to justify or blame someone else for making us to do. So those are the uh, summary of the book. Uh, it's a very good book, and I really enjoy reading the book. I plan to use the book uh, to apply to my uh, relationship by soon-to-be teenagers, and hope you uh, enjoy this review. And uh, by all means, go buy the book. Thank you.